hello everyone welcome back to the channel and if it's your first time here you are so so welcome so this is how i became a farmer <laughs> from being a maid in lebanon yeah i was a maid in lebanon and i'm not ashamed to say it. yeah it actually made me who i am today because from being a maid in lebanon i learned a lot okay so if you are watching this as a young woman and you are planning to travel to the middle east as a maid please don't do it take it from me i was there and i experienced it firsthand and i wouldn't advise anybody to to travel to the middle east you know a lot of people in africa here i don't know we our, our mentality is very backward because you know when it comes to farming everybody feels like it is a it's a poor man's job or it's a dirty man's job you know and you you tend to be inferior if you are doing farming in africa but we eat every day we eat morning afternoon and evening so it's crazy how there is a lot of stigma around farming and you know we allow like older people to do farming and you know they are losing their strength in africa we don't we don't have all the machineries and all the uh, i don't know the technology to do farming on large scales that can really feed a lot of people unlike in the west so it's time for for young people to also look into farming i'm going to tell you all exactly why i prefer doing farming in africa rather than traveling um to the middle east or other countries to to work uh, certain um, types of jobs okay so the first reason is um while i'm doing my farming here i'm free you know nobody is forcing me to do anything like nobody is yelling please hurry up do this do this you are not on time i do it when i want to i go to the farm when i feel like i want to go you know like it's not a must and i'm free because i remember back then working in the middle east i was like a robot and you know i had to do certain things that i was told to do even if i didn't want to do them you have to do them because you know it, it's it, it seems like your life depends on the job like you know a lot of uh, women work very hard as housemates in the middle east and you know the salaries they are even getting is peanut as compared to you know somebody who is into serious farming here in africa but they don't realize it yeah if you can really invest your time in agriculture in africa trust me you are going to make more money on your own terms okay a lot of people might be like what if i don't have a land to do farming you can go ahead and rent a piece of land and you can do the farming the money you are going to use to to travel because traveling as well is not free you know some of the agents might might tell you that you have to pay like at least a thousand dollars or more to travel so with this amount of money you can rent yourself a piece of land and you know buy some seeds and you know pesticides and you start your farming and in less than three months you start harvesting and selling you have more than enough food and you are free you know you are free because back then I, there was no difference between myself and a slave because the way I was working, I, 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 like I had no power of my own, you know, farming itself to me is therapeutic because watching my, my crops grow is really, really amazing. It makes me really, really happy. I don't know about a lot of people but it makes me happy. I know there are a lot of people who are like, oh, please, I don't like farming. I don't like the sun. I don't like the stress. When it comes to farming, you don't have to do the work yourself. You can, you can rent a piece of land. You can hire people to do the, the, the tilling of the soil, the planting and everything. And all you need to do is, um, you know, 
stand there and look at them and tell them what to do and you are good you don't have to do certain things by yourself like when you like when it comes to the tilling i didn't till the soil i just come to like plant certain things that are missing and you know cut some grass and you know because i want to do it because i can still pay people to do this but i do it because i want to do it yeah you know as africans i will not say all africans but a lot of africans like people my age group it's time for us to put this mentality in the trash because a lot of people feel like when you grow up you have to study and you know wear suits and go to the office and you know you've made it in life if you are doing such but that's not it because <laughs> there's a lot more to life than you know wearing suits and sitting in the office because there are a lot of people out there who are suffering you know they are suffering they are hungry but there are certain things that they don't want to do you know they are hungry but there are certain things that they don't want to do because they feel like people are going to laugh at them for doing it you know you see a young man or a young woman because they went to school and had their degrees they feel like nah i can't do farming i can't do hairdressing i can't do certain things because i went to school i can only work in the office that's not the case anymore these days, um, we have to start thinking about, you know, employing ourselves and doing certain things that will benefit us. 80% of young people today are ready to, to, to move out of Africa. You know, they want to travel abroad and work and make money and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I know that Africa itself is not making it easy on us, the government and everything. You know, everything is corrupt and, you know, money is not easy. I get it. But at the end of the day, if everybody leaves, then who is going to build the Africa that we all want so badly? Yeah, they, you know, all this manpower we are taking out into other countries to build the, the, their countries for them. If we can all, you know, invest this energy in Africa, trust me, in no time, we are going to grow like so badly, but a lot of people don't know this. Before traveling to Lebanon in 2014, my family spent at least 2,000 US dollars because, you know, I was traveling abroad, so they could do everything they, they, you know, they could give everything they had so that I can travel abroad and, you know, make lots and lots of money. But at the end of the day, they did not know that Lebanon was what it was. So sometimes I would sit and think to myself, like, what if I took this money? What if I had taken the money and, you know, got myself a, a piece of land and started like poultry farming? Back then till now, it's almost 10 years. 20, 20, 2024 is going to be 10 years. I will be a millionaire like i will have a lot of money you know so usually i will sit down and think about it and i'll re i'll be regretting a lot because even if you are to travel and go over there first you are going to suffer a lot and you know the money they are paying you if you are not careful by the time you get to your country in less than six months the money will be gone and it's, 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 it's nothing, it's chicken change. It's chicken change. Like, I usually sit and think about it, and I'm so angry. Anyways, Lebanon on its own, I don't know, brought me, like, a lot of open doors because from my story that I shared on, on YouTube about my experience in Lebanon, I got to, to meet a lot of people that have helped shape me into who I am today and I'm really really grateful so I'm happy that I went through that but you know I'm not going to like encourage anybody to travel to Lebanon and work as a maid rather you use that money that you want to use and travel you know and do something for yourself in Africa and trust me you will thank me later all you need is consistency if you are consistent in what you are doing and you believe that you can actually make it here in Africa. Trust me, you can do it. You can do it. At this point, if you still feel like you want to travel to, to I don't know, to the Middle East and work as a maid, anyways, I'm not going to say anything more. Like, it depends on you. 
maybe you want to go and see it and you know believe for yourself yeah but according to me i would never i regret it and i wish i never did it even though it helped me but i wish i i never did it yeah so i'm really happy doing my farming here in africa because at the end of the day while i'm doing my farming from the same farm i'm going to sell my crops and make money and from the same farm i get food and i can also share with some family members so it gives me joy you know i don't see the reason why i should go out there and enslave myself just because i want to make some chicken change that can't really do anything to my life because the money that they are going to pay you is nothing i repeat it is nothing like it's not going to make any difference in your life and it's not worth the stress and the pain and the tears that you will go through please don't do it i repeat please don't do it it's not worth it you know if you have a piece of land that you can do your agriculture you know grow pepper grow cassava grow anything you want to grow and sell it's going to make you a lot of money right now on this piece of land i'm practicing mixed cropping i'm growing granite corn and others at the end of the day when my cassavas are mature i'm going to sell them because of course i can't eat a whole farm of cassava myself i'm going to sell them if i have like extra okra as well i'm going to sell but at at the end of the day i'm not buying things like pepper you know some certain kinds of vegetables that i usually buy now that i'm doing farming i'm not going to buy all these things i'm just going to get them from my farm and the excess i'm going to sell it and i'll make money and guess what i'm happy you know i'm happy and these days there are so many things that you can do online to make money you know rather than traveling uh, to lebanon you know start yourself a youtube channel go to other websites where they are teaching you how to make money and you know earn some extra coins for yourself and stay in africa and live the life that you want to live there is no point traveling to the middle east to enslave yourself yeah like there is no point yeah and you know i'm just hoping that the government here in africa you know in all these african countries they can they can make things easy for their citizens because a lot of people are leaving africa to not because they really want to but because you know the government is crap everything here is corrupt and you know it's very difficult and you have to be very very intelligent or how can i say it to to be able to make it because so uh, surviving out here is not easy yeah but at the end of the day we are surviving like you have to to think of ways to to actually survive africa is very hard i must tell you because i see a lot of people too who are like they want to move to africa as well at the end of the day africa can be very very difficult but trust me if you know what you are doing africa is like the best place to be according to me if i am if i have money i don't see any reason why i should be traveling you know and you know traveling abroad like to make money and come back here is not a bad thing as well like if you know where you are going and you know that the salaries you are going to be getting can help you in the future why not i'm not going to tell you not to do it but you know if it's to go and work and earn about 200 or 300 dollars a month and thinking to yourself that one day you come back here and do something great that's trash you know rather stay here and and grow your crops and sell them and make the same amount or even more because at the end of the day you are going to earn even more trust me i'm telling you the truth a lot of people are making money in farming right here these days in africa and you too you can do it things are expensive the economy is really really changing and buying food these days is not easy and all you need to do is you know rent a piece of land with little money you invest into the piece of land and you sell you won't you won't lack food you won't lack certain necessities and you are good to go rather than going out there to to enslave yourself yeah so i'm really happy that i'm doing this and i hope that it can encourage somebody who is um maybe wanting to travel to the middle east to stay back yeah so <laughs> after a very long day i'm done today i i, I brought the fertilizers and uh, there were some spaces i had to grow beans that i just did 
and cassava. Ah, today hasn't been easy at all. Seriously, it's been it's been very tiring and it's very sunny, as you guys can see. Yeah, we move. <laughs> I just want to thank you very much for watching up to this point i really really appreciate you please make sure you go ahead and like comment and share and you know subscribe for more videos like this because definitely i'm going to be uploading more videos to show you all the progress of the farm you know when it comes to like harvesting or you know everything that concerns my farm i'm going to be sharing it here so you don't want to miss any of these videos like every update i'll be updating you all like and believe me i'm happy doing what i'm doing and maybe it's time for you to to start doing something like this and trust me you are not going to regret it like farming is so amazing you know it's it's really amazing yeah and i'm happy doing this and i hope you too you can go ahead and you know start a farm for yourself <laughs> yeah thank you guys so much thank you so much